Welcome everyone to our first week of our art classes taught by Mr. Reliant. Um, this week we're going to have a little bit of some funky stuff going on, especially with the fact that we are quarantined. So I've got my nice list of stuff that I'm going to cover through here to get you all situated. The first point being that um, all of you, um, especially hybrid and in-person students, you need to pay attention very carefully to our Zoom classes for all of your classes, re regardless of whether it's me or science or whatever. Um, basically, the schedule for your Zoom classes is the same as if it was in person. So if you had a schedule where you came in A1 to Drawing 1, um, you would log in to your Zoom and it would start at 825 as if it was a regular class and go all the way to um, 932 um, when that class finishes and then if you had A2 um, science with Mr. Stone then you would go to that class that would start at 935 and you need to make sure that you're logged into that Zoom so you're going to be bouncing between Zooms um, for all of your classes. Now online students are a little funky because online their schedule is not realistic as far as if it were to be in person. Um, they have the ability to have scheduled classes that are at the same time physically. So for you online students, log on to the ones that you can and then there will be video recordings for you to watch for the classes that you were not able to attend. So for me, you would need to um, check the discussions. That's where we have all of our content, which we'll talk about later. Um, but there'll be recordings in the slides and the discussion assignments um, of our lessons that are recorded. Okay, so that's how Zoom's going to work for these first um, this first week. I know that's a little funky, um, but it's also how we'll do attendance. So you need to make sure that you are going to those Zooms and that you follow the teacher's instructions so that you can be marked present. Now, obviously, the first um, couple days are going to be a little lenient and we're going to try and do our best to not like um, if you were tardy by 10 20 minutes because you couldn't figure it out we're not going to mark you tardy we're going to just try and do our best to get everybody situated um, but you do need to show up and um, be there as best you can so that you can get marked present um, first item of business outside of the irregular stuff with the Zooms is that all of you that have art classes with me need to get art supplies. I'm sending an email to all of you directly that will go over the detailed list for each class specifically. The next thing is that um, currently you are watching this intro video. That's something you should be watching every Monday in order to have a brief idea of what is happening in the week and just announcements for my general classes. If you're watching this right now and you're supposed to be logged in for a Zoom, log out and get into the Zoom, okay? So if you're an A1 student and you're watching this right now, you need to make sure that you get into the Zoom. So pause and come back and watch this later. Um, if you're not though, and this is, uh, uh, you're watching this to figure out what this class is about, then you're in the right place. Just make sure that you log into the Zoom class if you have me for a later class period. Um, Last point is that all of our um, classes, regardless of if you have me for yearbook, photo, drawing, etc., I've tried to keep my courses as simple as possible for you to be able to navigate without having like tons and tons of different buttons to pay attention to. So the only stuff that you need to pay attention to really is the home page where you have this video that you're watching and then the to-do list underneath it, which will Describe what's happening throughout the week and your assignments to finish by the end of the week. Um, so you'll take a look at that underneath um, this video to kind of see what you are in charge of for this week. And then the other button that you will pay attention to is the discussions tab, which will be in the top left corner um, of your Canvas page. In the discussions, I put all of our lesson content with the slides and the video lessons um, at the top of the discussion assignment and then underneath the slides there will be a brief description of what you need to post for that week and you will be posting something every week there will be a new discussion every week and all of the lesson content will be posted at the top 
And that's all you have to pay attention to, the homepage and the discussions. That's where all your content is. And for all of you, for this first week, our discussion one assignment is to familiarize yourself with my course to make sure that you understand where everything is. You're going to find your first due date and like tell me when your first project's due. Um, and then you have the opportunity to work ahead on next week's um, homework um, to get ahead and just kind of get used to what this class is going to look like. So our first uh, our first assignment for everybody is going to be pretty easy. Everyone's going to try and make sure that they understand um, how the course works and then email me um, any questions that you might have so that we can clear up everything as quickly as possible, make sure everyone's on the same page so that we start this uh, second semester really strong. The only exception is those year-long students, so my ninth grade um, visual arts students, um, my photojournalism students, and my yearbook students. Even if you joined late, you have a project starting um, right off the bat. So you're going to take a moment and look at your discussion one and see that there will be a very brief um, assignment for you to start getting working into. It won't be due for a while though, especially since we're starting off um, virtually, um, but you're gonna be jumping into um, a project immediately rather than having an intro to the course because we've already done that last semester. It's a year long class. But if you happen to be someone that's joining in, um, halfway through the year-long class. Don't get too freaked out. Just do your best. Go through the discussion assignment. Join in on the Zooms. And hopefully when we're having our virtual class, everything will make sense when you're talking to me face-to-face. -face. Um, but just make sure that you, if you have a chance, especially those of you that are B-Day classes, that you read through the discussion assignments and familiarize yourself with all the buttons before you come to class so that you already have uh, a more clear idea of what you should be asking questions about and potentially get that all figured out before the end of the week. Um, which leads to the very last thing is that for all of you, if you have any questions about anything, even if it's not necessarily for, for my class, but just this whole weird week of being virtual, contact me, contact me immediately so I can help you as best as I can. Um, and we'll just do our best to get through this together. Okay, um, that's it. Um, should be a pretty chill um, first couple weeks, making sure everyone got um, their art supplies and that they understand what we're doing for class. Um, it'll be a little bit lenient the first couple days to make sure everyone understands what they're doing. Um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I wish you luck and I um, look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow in class. Um, oh, and then one final thing is those of you that don't have me until Wednesday or Thursday, you will see that some of you might not have assignments posted just yet, and that's because you don't need to worry about um, jumping into an assignment besides the like getting familiar with the course um, until um, Wednesday when class actually starts. Okay? All right. Good luck. See you guys.